And this week's seasonal servings, of course, it's all about spring, and we're going to be making a spring twist on a traditional Cobb salad. See what I'm up to and what ingredients are going to springify it coming up. For this week's seasonal servings, I'm putting a spring twist on a traditional Cobb salad. We'll be using seasonal ingredients, avocado and lemon to lighten it up. We'll also use shrimp and chives to add that additional lighter spring-like taste for the traditionally hefty yet delicious salad. I've got some more ingredients to grab, then I'll meet you in the kitchen so we can get started. I'm here in the Fox 43 kitchen now, and I've got most of the prep work done for my shrimp cob salad. I'm doing a little more of a spring-like take on this. So I have some of the ingredients we went shopping for prepped. Others are not, like the shrimp. We still have to get that taken care of and cooked, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's talk about what I have done first. You don't need to do anything fancy here. You just need to use your favorite bed of green. I also have a blend of tomatoes. I thought a colorful blend would just add to the eat with your eyes, colorful spring type expectations that you tend to have. And then cucumber chopped up, crumbled bacon crisped up in the oven, and some gorgonzola cheese. Now you can use blue cheese in this. I find that it pairs nicely with the shrimp. Or you could just use traditional cheddar or Colby, whatever you like. But I decided for the shrimp and I got a little bit of a sweeter type salad dressing that I have going with this. I thought a little bit of the creamy and tanginess of the gorgonzola would go a long way too. We'll assemble this now, at least what we can here. And I'm going to add some of my tomatoes. Throw that all in there. I've got my row of cucumbers. Add some bacon, and I'm gonna put this off to the side because I want a little room in the middle for the shrimp once I finally start to cook that down. And now, the gorgonzola cheese. And then up next, we're just going to dice the egg. The way we're gonna dice this, just your typical egg slicer, and this is a cute little trick. You could do the slices if you please, if you like them cut like this, but I'm like more of a diced. So you go one way, Turn it, go the other way, boom. You got yourself some diced and chopped up egg and that's how you get that nice little fancy look. You're gonna mix it up anyway, so I figure the slices are going to break apart. So I would just rather do it this way. So that's two proteins taken care of and we're going to move on now to another protein and that's going to be our shrimp. So here we go, we're just going to pop these in. These have been peeled and deveined, and also, of course, tails taken off, and they're going to saute until they're cooked all the way through. Just good old simple salt and pepper. I'm not doing anything too fancy here with them. I did say that I took the tails off of them. Maybe an unpopular opinion, I don't know. I know they don't do it in the restaurants, but I am not a fan of leaving the tails on for shrimp in a salad or in a pasta dish. I mean, if you want them on, if you feel like you want to look fancy doing it, then you go ahead and you do you. Me, I'm fake fancy, so I just like what's convenient and easiest to eat. I just wanna eat it with a fork. I don't wanna pick it up and, you know, get my fingers messy. All right, so we're in a great place now. I gotta do a little bit of cleaning up here while the shrimp are cooking, and after a couple minutes, I'm going to turn them, and then they'll be done. And when I see you next, we are going to put this very easy, delicious, spring-like version of a Cobb salad together. And we're going to try it, of course because we always have to try it. 